Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. One thing that's uh I feel like changed over time, it seemed like now it's really easy for a nigga to, you know what I'm saying, start making music. Anybody could, you know, niggas coming out rapping every day. I feel like back then it was harder to not just put out music but to be known. Uh talk about that process of putting out music and like you said, doing it independently, some of the costs at that time. Doing independent, we will have to Buy studio time for one, you know, we going to pay for studio time. Shout out to J2 Fresh, man, for doing our first EP and album, you know what I'm saying? First, first EP and album. It was like, that's what we was doing hustle for that, to go to the studio as much as we can, you know what I'm saying? If that's the answer to the question. But yeah. That was a way, and they, they kind of grew us up to well. We got hella responsibility. We're going to be a label, we got to run like a label, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it just, it was hard, not for us financial wise, but it was just hard to meet them connect. Cause we were, we was, we was ringing to the shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they were like, a motherfucker knew them niggas, them niggas serious. We can't go them. They, we got ball a block, you know what I'm saying? We got motherfuckers trying to shut us down, but we fought, fought, fought. So we were determined to take our name to where it needed to be. Yeah, we started a lot of shit with cats, you know what I'm saying? That's why I be like, I be quiet a lot about the shit, but like I said, a lot of motherfuckers was imitated, imitated by us what we was doing. So, it didn't bother us though. We kept pushing and kept, you gonna see us. Yeah. That's how deep we was. Where we was, you gonna know that's the niggas from Clover. That's the body boy. That's the nigga Clover. I don't give a damn where you was at any time of day. Seven days a week, we was out here promoting until it was time to hit that road. So talk like Clover G Records. Uh, were you a part like when it very first started or like just uh, joining it? How Clover G Records, is, that came after us. Okay. That's the little brother, the flip. We was big shot records and planning the production. Oh, okay. For shit show. Right, right, right. Flip, that's the little brother. That's the little fan. That's the homie from our tree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, so gotcha. Clover G Records is it's like, we are the Clover G's. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, in the part two, you're going to see the real Clover G's. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's one big family. You know what I'm saying? We did all that. You know what I'm saying? Clover G Records is like, that's the little brother. That's the little fan. You know what I'm saying? That's the little fan. You know what I'm saying? Label. Right, you know okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. We, right. we on the same tree, we're affiliated in all sorts of ways, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, family type yeah, shit, it's yeah. Yeah, family thing for real. Okay, so, um, changing it up a little bit, I feel like Houston, I, uh, we, we've been having a lot of tension within the city uh, lately. One thing, uh, commonly going on aside from the take takeoff situation, rest in peace, takeoff. Uh, Zero and Trey, two legends in the city, it seemed like they, they beefed up. What are your thoughts on how, on how that look for the city and just that situation in general? Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be with Thaw Wild with it. I didn't like the situation. I ain't like how the shit went down. I think it was a fucked up situation just to keep it a book. It was, it was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Really? I think that shit should stay between Zero and Trey and his family shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I said again, I ain't like the situation. But I got tracks with both of niggas on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This was my man, Zero, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We were always cool. You know what I'm saying? So to see that shit, it kind of was crazy. But you, know, you got to get back up in that situation with that shit, man. Nigga, that between them two niggas. You know what I'm saying? It was cool, but shit, I feel like shit. Hey, man, you got beef with this nigga? You got beef with this nigga? Y'all air that shit out together, man. You do what y'all got to do. If this nigga calling you out, boom. You go see him. You know what I'm saying? Go see the nigga. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, it, it kind of looked bad on the city because now you got one crew of motherfuckers down with zero. You got one crew of motherfuckers down with Trey or whatever. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, it's like the zip. You know what I'm saying? I don't think how that shit happened, how it occurred, but it wasn't no motherfucking G shit. It wasn't no real nigga G shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I ain't the one to just keep talk about that shit, but it just, I think it put a band-aid on some shit. You know what I'm saying? 
put a real, well, fuck a band aid and put a scar on the motherfucking city because you got motherfuckers from out of town that really don't know what happened, really don't know what happened. They're gonna ride, and they're gonna pick sides to ride with. Shit, so you know what I'm feel like they got so, a straddle of the yeah, line. Yeah, yo, this your favorite rapper, this your favorite rapper. This nigga got a lot of niggas on this side. Drill got a lot of motherfuckers that fuck with him on this side. I fuck with him. Trey got a lot of motherfuckers on this side niggas fucking with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all was cool. So, like I say, that family beef shit, sometimes that shit gotta stay family beef. That ain't for the motherfucking world to know, you know what I'm saying? It was a fucked up situation.